I was watching the television, you know, and every time I turn on the television, I see this kind of popping up. I say, what's the hell? On this TV? Stuff? Yes. In Jamaica? Yes. Okay. I say, what's going on with Ghana? <laughs> what's going on with Ghana? Every time I turn on the television, I'm it's seeing Ghana. something about Ghana. I say, yeah. let me look at this place. And I started to look at Ghana. I'm telling you, it's something different here. <laughs> it is something in different Ghana. here in Ghana. Wow. Because the, I don't know if it's the ancestors mm -hmm. or who, but they led me to this country. Yes. And I am so happy. From my name, my name is a Scottish name. Okay. And it is coming from purity, mm -hmm. harmony, and peace. Right. And that's why I love peace. And I said, you know, I could live in this place. Mm -hmm. And I called my daughter. Mm -hmm. And I said, I want to go to Ghana. Just and like she, that? Yes. And she said, what's up with you, mom? <laughs> you don't want to live in Canada. You don't want to live in USA. Why, you, you want why to go do to you Ghana? want to? Yes. And then a spiritual lady mm -hmm. by the name of Dr. Hope McDowell, mm -hmm. she told me that I am going to travel to a continent. And I said, wow. Wow. Yes. It was prophesied for Yes. You. And we are always saying, I yeah. want to go to Ghana. I have to go to Ghana. Yeah. I have to go to Ghana. I don't know what is it, but I have to go there. And here I am. Wow. The people are so friendly. Yes. Yes, they are so humble. Oh. You know, they are so respectful. And that is what I like. Even your CEO, mm -hmm. when I saw him on the television, I say, yes, this is a good man. Wow. Because I can just look at you and observe you and know who you are. Welcome back to the channel. This right here is the Motherland series. I hope you're all doing amazing. Today, we're going to be listening to the story and the life experiences of an amazing woman. She's going to be talking to us. You know, we're going to be listening, taking from her, and then also together have an amazing time. So, let's welcome Madam Lorna to the office. Hi. Hi, good morning. How are you? I am good. I am great. <laughs> yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to yes, the Royal Kingdom Estate Platform. Thank you. Yes. So we're going to start. But before we get into it, guys, I'm sure you see this video after. So this is Lorna. She's the mother of Verika. Yes. And they came to Ghana together. From the stories that I had from Verika, you spearheaded this entire journey to Ghana. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's start from the very beginning. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. My name is Lorna, as you hear before. Mm -hmm. My name is Lorna. I was born and grown in Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. I have never left Jamaica to say live somewhere else. Wow. I only visited places like, you know, America mm -hmm. and Canada, where yeah. my children are living now. But I'm always in Jamaica. In Jamaica, I went to school there. Mm -hmm. I did my education there. I was a teacher. Okay. And then I was upgraded to a principal. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's my journey coming until I was retired. In my retirement, I spent my time mostly with my children in okay. Canada. Okay. Yes, and it is it's amazing being mm -hmm. with them because you know we grow up together mm -hmm. and we were we are like sisters. Oh, uh, that's, yes. that's so lovely. <laughs> yes, you know we talk together, we cry together, we do everything together. Yeah. And I think that's amazing because you know our God is wonderful, mm -hmm. and I know that my God. He always steer me in the right direction. Yeah. And I am so happy that I have learned to trust in him. Yeah. Right. So that is my journey mm -hmm. in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And, you know, being in Jamaica, it's a very good experience. Going to the USA, going to Canada. Yeah. You know, it's a different experience, exactly. you know, from what we have in Jamaica. We're used to, but, you know. Yeah. I learned to make myself be contented anywhere that I go. That's perfect. Yes. And I am happy that I am here now. Mm -hmm. yes. what, were, what were some of your best experiences living in Jamaica? Well, most of my, some of my experiences is mostly being with the children. Okay. Yes. You know, grooming them, yeah. training them, mm -hmm. taking them on trip, mm -hmm. let them know what I stand for. Yeah. Yes, because 
if in Jamaica those children don't know what you stand for mm -hmm. they will take you and want to turn you around right so you have to be loving them mm -hmm. but you have to be very stern with them yes yes yeah, so from the moment you get them mm -hmm. you let them know what you stand for mm -hmm. and from you do that they will grow to love you exactly both the parents and the children Yes, when they know. Teachers as well. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I love my teachers, but you know, I have a stand with them. Okay. They know what I love mm -hmm. and they know what I believe in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I will be very hard with them at times. Yeah. I'll be very soft with them. But they know that my hardness is not for long. It's from love. Yes, it's because of love yeah and i want to groom them in the right way exactly. and lead them in the right direction yeah. Yeah. yes so that's what with them so being retired now you know sometimes they ask me are you coming back <laughs> i said no it's my time i am done yeah because i want to rest yeah yes and i want to travel the world yeah and here i am that's amazing. You seem yes. like a great woman of great principles. Yes. And it's wonderful to listen to how you navigate around these things and how you even impact your children yes. as well. Because my children, they know that I don't joke. That's right. They know that I don't That's joke. a real African mom. Right. They know that they I don't, don't joke. joke. Even my grandchildren. And they love me so yeah. much. Yeah. Yes. But you know, they I know when to go... Mm -hmm. and with what journey to go with them yeah yes and then you know i take a drawback again mm -hmm. and then i let them understand themselves yeah. so you see when i do that they say grandma we love you i said i love you too <laughs> and i will give them anything yeah anything i will give them that's what i have to take a stand yeah yeah, yeah. that's wonderful mm -hmm. now being somebody that um your children had the opportunity to relocate elsewhere and then start a, a life in a different place why why didn't you go over there to live there as well why did you choose to spend your I, retirement in jamaica to tell you the truth you know i am a person who follow the divine spirit of god right and i ask him all the time to lead me mm -hmm. and to guide me and to direct me yeah and whatever he says that's what I do yeah. because I always put him before me. Mm -hmm. And when I was there, my grandmother was there yeah. and I said, I'm not going to leave her. Wow. I said, I'm going to stay with her mm -hmm. and I'm going to be with her. Even when I went to the USA, people, um, some of my friends, yeah. they are telling me stay. I said, no, I can't stay. I have my children mm -hmm. and I have my grandmother and I have to take care of them. Right. So I am not going to leave them and to put myself into a country mm -hmm. and mess up myself. Right. I, I said, I prefer to be in Jamaica with my children and my grandma. My grandma passed away in 2015. Oh. Yes, she passed away in 2015. So it sorry. was very, you know, emotional. I can imagine. Yes. You were very close. Yes, very close to her. Wow. Very close to her. And at that time, I said I want to pack mm -hmm. where I was living mm -hmm. and to come to stay with my other daughter. Mm -hmm. She's in Canada now. But I said, you know, I'm going I'm just going to take it at a time yeah. and ask God to lead me. Mm -hmm. And that was what he did. And he led me in the right direction. But I didn't have any urge of living in those countries. I yeah. don't know why. Because even my daughter here, mm -hmm. she wanted to, you know, get the permanent residence for me. Yeah. And I said, mm, I'm not feeling it. Would you just say you are drawn to your roots? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's true. And I said, I'm not feeling it. Yeah to go there. I said, don't worry yourself. I'll mm -hmm. just go and come. Yes. You'd because rather I, travel? Yes. I day. rather to travel yeah. back and forth, mm -hmm. back and forth, not to really to stay into a country and to live there. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm telling you, it's something different here. <laughs> it is something in different Ghana. here in Ghana. Wow. Because the, I don't know if it's the ancestors mm -hmm. or who, but they led me to this country. Yes. And I am so happy. 
That's amazing. We're so just about coming to that. The fact that yes. you were able to... Was it through research? How, how did you find Ghana in the first place? Okay, to tell you the truth. Finding Ghana here. Um, I was, you know, I'm there. Mm -hmm. Because to tell you the truth, um, I'm there alone now in Jamaica. Right. I have other relatives, but they are far out. Mm -hmm. But my close associate is my children. Okay. Yes. And I was at the house. I'm always at the house alone. Yeah. And I was watching the television, you know, and every time I turn on the television, I see this Ghana popping up. I say, what's the hell? On this TV? Ghana? Yes. In Jamaica? Yes. Okay. I say, what's going on with Ghana? <laughs> what's going on with Ghana? Every time I turn on the television, I'm it's seeing Ghana. something about Ghana. I yeah. say, let me look at this place. And I started to look at Ghana. And the first person I saw on YouTube was the Kings. Okay. Yes, and I started to watch them. Yeah. And, you know, I went to sleep. Mm -hmm. And when I sleep, it's keep popping up in my head. I said, oh no, something is wrong here. <laughs> I said, wonder what is wrong. Yeah. It keeps popping up in my head, popping up in my head. Ghana, and then Ghana, I remember Ghana. I, when I was in college, I yeah. read a book about mm -hmm. Ghana. Okay. And the capital was Accra. And, I, and that book came back to me. Oh. And when it came back to me, I said, oh. I took up the book mm -hmm. and I just scanned you through. You still had it? Yes. Okay. I had that book from college and I just scanned through. And I said, you know, it's a nice place. And mm -hmm. watching the kings too. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, it's a peaceful place. Yeah. A place that I would want to be. Because, you know, from my name, my name is a Scottish name. Okay. And it is coming from purity, mm -hmm. harmony, and peace. Right. And that's why I love peace. And I said, you know, I could live in this place. Mm -hmm. And I called my daughter. Mm -hmm. And I said, I want to go to Ghana. Just and like she, that. Yes. And she said, what's up with you, mom? <laughs> you don't want to live in Canada. You don't want to live in USA. Why, are you, you, why do you want Ghana? to go to Ghana? Yes. And then a spiritual lady mm -hmm. by the name of Dr. Hope McDowell, mm -hmm. she told me that I am going to travel to a continent. And I said, wow. Wow. Yes. It was prophesied for yes. you. Yes. Yes. And then um, I kept looking into it and I keep asking God. I said, God. Is this for me? Yeah. I know you are showing me something mm -hmm. because I have that spiritual feeling. Yeah. And I said it to my daughter that I want to go to Ghana. And she said, Mom, what's wrong with you? I said, I want to go to Ghana. <laughs> you insist. Yes. And I said, if you are not coming with me, I am going. But you know, wow. she don't want me to travel alone. So she said, Mom, I look I'll into come it. With you. And she started to look into it. And we are always saying, I yeah. want to go to Ghana. I mm -hmm. have to go to Ghana. Yeah. I have to go to Ghana. I don't know what is it, but I have to go there. And here I am. Wow. So if she hadn't agreed, you would have... I would come myself alone. Wow. Yes. I would be here alone. Because I have to get here. Yeah. Because the divine spirit was leading me to exactly. Ghana. And I have to and come to Ghana. You follow. Yes. But yeah. I know that anything, you know, I ask them. Mm -hmm. They are not going to tell me no. Yeah. So I know she would be here with me. That's and I am amazing. so happy. And now you're here it's, with your family. Yes. How yes. has the experience been so far? Well, it's very good. Tell you the truth. It's very good. Yeah. Very good. From I step off that plane mm -hmm. and I went into the airport mm -hmm. at Ghana. I've been having a wonderful time. Wow. Very good time. Mm -hmm. The people are so friendly. Yes. Yes, they are so humble. Oh. You know, they are so respectful. And that is what I like. Yeah. You know, because I like people who are respectful. Yes. And especially the men, when they see ladies, they are very respectful. Yeah. Yes. And I really love that. And everybody treated us so well. So well. As if, you know, we were family. We were, we were a family. Yeah. We were friends and we knew them from a long time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, That's and wonderful. that is what I like. I think most of these um, habits that we exhibit is stemmed from our very, very rich culture. Yes. Because we have, like, you're trained. You mm -hmm. have home training, you know, 
it, at school you're being taught to you know behave yes well yes. the manners are there so i think it's very amazing right even that the, the divine has led you even here. the children yeah the children on the streets mm -hmm. when they pass you you know they're saying god bless you ma'am right yes thank you ma'am if you. you offer them anything mm -hmm. thank you ma'am god bless you and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say anything more because, you know, I just like that. Yeah. Yes. And they let us feel at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Yes. And now today you're here mm -hmm. in the office of Royal Kingdom Estate. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's awesome. How, how is the atmosphere here it's, like? It's, Do you like it? It's amazing. Oh. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. I am telling you, the spirit of God is in this place. Because I'm a spiritual person. Yes. And I can feel it. Yeah. I can feel it. You are a team that works together. And I like that. I so can glad. feel it. I can feel the touch. I feel everything. Yeah. Yes. And it's not coming just fake. It is natural. It's natural. It is natural. And even your CEO, mm -hmm. when I saw him on the television, I say, yes, this is a good man. Wow. Because I can just look at you and observe you and know who you are. Yes. That's, that's who, You're a good who I am. Judge of character. Yes, yes, yes. And I look at him and I said, you know, he's good. So when people was giving us the run, run about to say, mm -hmm. you know, how are we buying land that we don't know these yeah. people? I said to my daughter, you go on. Mm -hmm. Go on doing what you have because, you know, she's my CEO. <laughs> yes, my daughter. She does yeah. everything for me. I Aww. just leave everything to them. Mm -hmm. And she, especially the Rika. Yeah. She does everything, everything. for me. Yeah. Yes. And then following up is my granddaughter, um, mm -hmm. Michaelia. Michaelia. Yes, they do everything <laughs> for me because they say, we love you, Grandma. Yes. And we want to do everything for you. Yeah. So Royal Kingdom is a place that I like. From the first day I stepped in here, mm -hmm. I said, yes, this is a good place. Yeah. Yes. Do you like our services so far? It is excellent. Your service is excellent. I am telling you, you are the expert on service. Thank you. Yes, I am telling you. Thank you because so much. Because we did everything online. Yeah everything online and everything was well done well prepared wow. and well done we yeah. didn't have any any problem yes any Nothing. problem to complain or to say oh you know i don't think this is good yeah. or that is good or that i'm telling you people give us the negative feeling mm -hmm. but we were confident wow. in mr danny angels we were very confident with him and his team. Yes, that what, they what were gave going you at that confidence in us. As I tell you already, that I always do yeah. my observation yes. and a divine spirit yeah. follows me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And when I look and saw everything that was being done, mm. I said, you know, this is a good company a good and we can recommend it. And watching him the YouTubes with my daughter, yeah. I say, you know. This is a very good man. And what I like about him, he's so humble. Oh. Yes, he's so humble. Because the first day when I met him mm -hmm. live and direct, yeah. I said, you know, he's a good person. And meeting again, you girls, <laughs> you were wonderful. Oh, thank you so yes. much. Yes, meeting again the other team, the male, yes. especially Desmond. Yeah. Yes, because <laughs> we are more used to Desmond more than mm -hmm. anyone. He's the one, one you're always talking to. Yes, her, yes. Yeah. And I'm telling you, man, Desmond is great. Aww. He is great. <laughs> yes. When we went over to the place yesterday. Yes, you saw the site. Yes, we saw the site. And when I saw my name written oh. on the post in God, I said, is, is this, this really is real? Me? Is this right? happening? Is this happening to me? I, know. I said, oh my God, all my dreams have become a glorious um and all my dreams and fantasies they have become a glorious reality okay, yeah amazing. yes it was so that good so you see i am from the tribe of Isikar. okay yes and i have wisdom okay and i follow my mind mm -hmm. and anything that i decide to do if it is not there i don't do it yeah Yes, and when I look at Royal Kingdom, mm. and my daughter told me about Royal Kingdom, I said, this is the place. It's wonderful. Yes, and the plot that we got. You like it? 
You like the view that it's comes with it? It's wonderful. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> we are just, you know, excited to build now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You are now a landowner very yes. soon. You we are so elated. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, you know, we thank God and we want to give the divine spirit that thanks yeah. and that praise. Yeah. And to ask him to keep us close together mm -hmm. with royal kingdom yes i think we have a beautiful relationship yes because we and don't want to leave you people exactly no. we're here for uh, you yes forever. and we want to recommend you yeah all the time oh, to other people you. in the diaspora thank you so much yes well i think your building process will be amazing yes and smooth, i know and i think the turnout will be a hundred percent yes yes so thank you so much yes for having welcome. this conversation with me yes my dear you're so so inspiring yes your spirituality is beautiful thank you and i think we have all collectively learned so much from you thank today. you so much thank you yes guys thank you for watching like the video share it if you have the time just copy the link turn on your post notification so that whenever we post you won't miss anything subscribe and stay glued we'll be back with more mm -hmm.